Students need to know exactly how they're being graded and how they're being, not only how they're being graded, but, but what the consequences are of any late assignments, um, due dates, everything right from the get-go. Um, you have to remember that we're not seeing these students visually on a day-to-day -day basis. Students are logging in at all times of the day, at any time during the week. Um, they need to know right from the start, in black and white, this is what's expected of me, this is how I'm going to be graded, this is what's going to happen if I don't adhere to these policies. I have a black and white grading policy that I keep, that I um, put right into my syllabus or course information documents. Students are expected to read that during our introductory week or first few days or, or whatever, um, that, that first initial week of the semester. Um, I also include a course information quiz where they have to answer certain questions that tell me you've either read it or you haven't read it. I also include a um, a little quiz that says where they have to acknowledge I have read the course grading policies and understand the late assignment policy. So they actually have to read that and, and give me a answer saying I read it, I understand it. Um, so that tells me also that they've read it, they understand those policies. Um, so I include that right in the introductory activities in my course so that I have an understanding that Okay, well, maybe you thoroughly don't understand it, but at least you looked at it. Um, so I, you know, I can at least be assured that they've taken the time to look at it. Um, and hopefully everything is sunk in for them. And then I'll reiterate in the first couple of weeks. You know, just a reminder, these are my policies as far as late papers go. Just a reminder, this is how the grading policies go. And then usually after the first module is over, I'll send out another mass email that says, okay, the first module's over. This is where your grades are at for the first module. Um, and uh, just to give them an understanding of where they're at in their standings in the course. I see pitfalls if you are not specific enough. I see um, new online instructors where, they're, where it's a gray area. Um, I'm a qualified reviewer for new, instruct, new course designs and a lot of times I'll see that as a very gray area and it's one of the things that I often recommend that they get more specific about. Um, if your grading policy or your late assignment policy is gray, you, it leaves too much room for interpretation. And again, if you're not seeing a student on a day-to-day -day basis or you're not communicating with them on a day-to-day -day basis and students are left to interpret things on their own, you have no control as to what they're going to interpret and then you have nothing to support anything with if they make the incorrect interpretation. So you really need to have those policies very clear, very concise, no room for misinterpretation, so that everybody's on the same page right from the very first day of class. Mm -hmm.